Welcome to Kicks Gaming. This is Papa Kicks. In this video, we're going to discuss whether you should use more than one ticket now that you can use multiple tickets on Daily Event, Daily Challenge, and Daily Maze. And the answer is it depends. This is a convenience feature for people who value their time more than their rewards. This is not a feature for new players who still need to earn the most from their tickets. Let's start with Daily Events. This is Papa Kicks from the future. As of version 1.6.8, which is why I have to remake this video, when you use multiple tickets on the daily event, you will get one full chest for every 100% rewards. For less than 100%, you will get a partial chest. Normally, one ticket gives one mega box, assuming you win. This gives an average of 150 gold and four hunters with an average of 20 pieces of each. If you get a partial chest using five tickets as an example, you will get four full boxes and a fifth box that will only contain 20% of your normal rewards, which means an average of only 30 gold and four hunters with about four pieces each. If you watched my previous video, you'll remember how hunter perks and hunter unlocks work, and that using multiple tickets was a really bad idea. With the 1.6.8 change, you can use multiple tickets without losing out. Yay! I still recommend using no more than five tickets, however. Anything more than five will result in losing at least one mega box, which will slow down your unlock progression. Despite being a partial mega box, it counts for the full amount when unlocking hunters and perks. It normally takes five mega boxes to unlock a perk. If we run five tickets, we always get a perk, assuming we are eligible, despite the fifth box only being 20% rewards. Oddities. If you use more than one ticket, all of your hunters and perks that are unlocked will be at the start of your boxes. If you qualify for two perks, they will be in box one and two, and the rest will have none. The same goes for hunters. Reminder, hunter and perk unlocks are not random. It is a bar that fills up. It takes five mega boxes to unlock your next perk. On screen, you can see a chart of what you're getting versus what you're losing. For daily challenges, before this patch, you could only get 15 stars per day. Additional tickets were useless. You could try to score higher and get more gold, but you need to be in the top 100 for this to happen, so it usually wasn't worth your time. Now there's no longer a cap on stars per day. If you use all three of your tickets per day, you can earn 45 stars in one day. If you do all three at once, you will only get 41 stars for that day, losing out on four stars. But it can save you a lot of time, so doing all three at once and still earning 90% of the rewards isn't bad. Because you now still get the free ticket up until 10 instead of 0, you can now save tickets for a better day. Such as if you don't own the hunter or you just don't like that challenge. You know, like co-op. Save them for a better day and do them all at once. Try to stay below 9 though, just so that you get that extra ticket every day. On screen is a chart showing what you gain versus what you lose when you use multiple tickets. And Daily Maze is similar to the other two. Using 10 tickets will get you 70% of your rewards. If you do a fight on floor 10, you will get 4 gems times 10 tickets at 70% or 28 gems. That's pretty good, but you're missing out on 14 gems from that single fight. But, on the other hand, it probably just saved you an hour or two. So it's really time versus rewards. If you open a chest, you will get the same items as before. Gems, power stones, or gear. If you get gems, they will be combined. So when you open a chest, you'll get seven items. It might be gems two or three times. Remember, these will be grouped. It could be two or three power stones, and it could be two or three gear, all from a single chest. It's Papa Kicks from the future again. After posting this video, I learned something new. You'll get one item per ticket used at the reduced percent, but it is rounded up or down. If you use 10 tickets, you get seven items per chest. But if you use 9 tickets, you get 650% rewards, and it rounds up, and you still get 7 items per chest. This means if you use 10 tickets, you're wasting a full ticket for only 2% more gems. Therefore, never use 5, 8, or 10 tickets, since they all round down or do not round up like their neighbors. I personally recommend 3 or 4 tickets. You get 100% of chest rewards and only lose 10-12% to of gems. That's a great trade-off for four times faster. Resume video. End games are similar. If you use 10 tickets, you'll get seven gear, assuming you have a subscription, 
as well as all the maze and epic gems lumped together, again with the penalty applied. It says 700% on this screen. Does that mean I have a 700% increased chance for mythics? No. Remember, this is a penalty, not a bonus. So it's 70% of your original rewards per ticket. And this has no effect whatsoever on the mythic drop rates. If it was 1% before, it's still 1%. You just get 7 attempts at it. On screen is a chart showing what you would lose versus how many tickets you used. So please don't deliberately save up tickets thinking you'll get a better chance at drops just because you do 10 at once. You'll get a lot more rewards and chances at mythics if you just do all three of your daily mazes at once and get 90% of your rewards. I hope this video cleans up some of the confusion I've seen in the community. This video was brought to you by these excellent people you can see on screen who support me on Patreon and YouTube. If you value this content, please consider supporting me so that I can keep doing this. Please gently press that like button so that the YouTube algorithm gods will smile on me. Please subscribe to get more Hunt Royale and other gaming content. And if you really enjoy my work, hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe. Papa Kicks out.